Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today we continue our How to Play the Division series with the Fulsham Jaeger Panzer Hermann Goring Division. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button and subscribe. It's free to you and it really helps the channel out. Let's dive right in. So here we are with my build of Fulsham Panzer Hermann Goring. Um, I, I build it in balanced. It, it can be a maverick. This is a pretty flexible division. It can definitely go a lot of different ways. Um, in terms of strength and weaknesses of this division, so it has a very solid infantry tab, okay, but it is expensive. So it's an expensive but, but solid infantry tab. It's got a, a pretty okay tank tab. It's nothing out of the ballpark, but it, it is good. A pretty solid support tab with some unique options. A really strong AT tab. A really powerful AA tab. An okay artillery tab. A lot of options, not a lot of slots. An absolutely awful Air Force. And a good recon tab as well. So it, it's definitely a, a solid division. It's from the original game. Uh, so you can always you can be using this division even if you are new. It definitely has its its weaknesses though. This this really hurts. It, it really does. And it's not not only is it like a very small air force, it's bad options as well. Like you will struggle with this air force. Your artillery slots, while they are good, are limited. And while your AA is good, it is limited. Like as in it does not have a lot of variety. You basically have flag 88s and that's about it, which are good, but don't really shoot planes down very often. So you, you're going to have a hard time killing enemy planes. And if the opponent aggressively targets your AA with artillery and stuff, it actually can become very, very challenging. So let's drive right in here to our infantry tab. So this is a pretty standard looking infantry tab at the end of the day. It has a few unique units, but overall it's basically an armored division infantry tab. Now I will note too that this division is classified as an armored division. It, I would not personally classify this as an armored division compared to the other panzer divisions in this game. This one really is not that. It's more of an infantry division with some good art armor kind of attached to it. So one thing to take note of now they do have ersatz i do take these especially on balance because i need to survive the opening of the game and these guys perform better than they should a lot of times so they're very good for sprinkling around the map and they're your cheapest infantry so you really kind of need that in phase a i'm also using one card of the valkyrie valkyrie i believe Valkuda is probably more correct these guys this is their like special infantry unit and i used to love them and i really don't anymore so the issue with these infantry are they only have one mg42 and mg42 is the best light machine in the game but they only have one they're a 12-man squad which is good it's more than 10 and they have four mp44s which sounds cool you're like oh yeah mp44s they're better than rifles i mean they have double the damage for half the numbers and yes that is true the issue is this squad's maximum damage capacity is between the ranges of 100 and 300 meters anywhere outside of those ranges this is really weak squad like if you are outside of 300 meters then you're really actually a bad grenadier squad that's what this ends up being this ends up being a bad grenadier squad so it it it's very limited. Like, if you can get enemies within this 300 meter window, then they're really, really powerful. But that's not a very wide window. It's not hard to be outside of the window. A lot of infantry combat takes place at 500 meters because infantry stop at their rifle range and start firing. So you end up with this really awkward kind of weak squad that doesn't actually do anything it does not defend very well it kind of almost needs to be in the forest but the thing is you don't want this unit right up against enemy troops because you lose the light machine gun and they don't have enough mp44s to really be effective at close range so it's just a really awkward squad that doesn't it rarely performs at its best. Let me put it that way. It rarely does the work it feels like it should. So that that's my issue with this squad. But I do have one in A because you get nine instead of eight and I don't know. I just I wanted to use them as a unique squad. They do have these HV Pioneers MP44s, which are very similar to Bugleit Pioneers in their makeup. Basically, MP44s, MP40, uh, MP40s, MP44s, a MG42, and the grenade. Very solid squad. Does a lot of damage. Very dangerous. Phase B, and I am, uh, you know, I am uh, veteraning these middle ones here. You can't veteran the Urzats or the Valk Valkyrie. Uh, there. Phase B, we have Pioneers, regular old Pioneers. They're called HG Pioneers, but they're really just regular Pioneers. Uh, actually, they're not. They have MG42. So they are, they are a step up from your usual Pioneer squad because they do have MG42s instead of MG34s. Uh, 
Then we have the HG Panzer Grenadiers, which are just regular Panzer Grenadiers. 10-man squad, two MG42s, seven rifles, and an MP40. These are what they always are. Good. Then we have the HG Begleit Grenadiers, which are Begleit Grenadiers. These are really strong, more of a close-range kind of unit. You know, you need that 300-meter range to really get the most out of these guys. 40 points because I'm bringing them in the half track. You'll notice this is the only squad I'm bringing in half tracks. Why? Because I need them to get to the front lines. You know, this guy, I don't mind if he takes a little bit longer. I like having the option to bring in half tracks, but I need them to actually get in. Unfortunately, you have to use the KFZ-70 for the most part, which is, you know, 10 kilometers per hour slower than the Opel Blitz, which is unfortunate. And then finishing up with a unvetted C card of Panzer Grand. Actually, really, sorry, it really should be this. I would prefer the Panzer Faust so I have some AT over having three more squads. Continuing on, the very strong recon tab. This is where a lot of people really like this division because you have access to both the SPW-231 and the SPW-233 along with the Panzer 3M. Panzer 3M is one of the best tanks in the game, in my opinion. It has recon optics. It is the Panzer 3, which is a stupidly undercosted, really powerful tank. So you get that thing. It has 60% accuracy base plus 15, so it, it barely ever misses. It It's just so good. For 50 points, it's really, really good. I decided to double vet. You only lose one. It's three to one, three to two. I was playing with three for a long time, but I decided I should just double vet it and really make it you know, worth its cost. Uh, SPW 231 is your average auto cannon car, really solid. The SPW 233 is what I would argue to be one of the best armor cars in the game. It's got 1500 meter range on that AP shell. It's heat shell kills things really fast. It's just, it's super good for 35 points. This, you will get a ton of value out of this weapon. And it's AT shells do two damage. They kill ATs like, uh, what am I thinking? A AT guns so fast. A lot of times these will win against AT guns. It's kind of disgusting actually. So really, really good recon tap. Tank tap is solid. It really doesn't leave much to be desired. It's just not very big. You have a car to Panzer T-34s. So I like to bring in Phase A because they're a little bit faster. They get to the front a little bit faster than your, your Panzer IVs. And they, they do good work. I mean, bring them in one vet. You don't really need six. Four, is, four with a vet is much better. Two with double vet is, is a little much for me, especially because it's my only card in A. And then B is just a card of Panzer IVs. And C is the exact same thing. I'd love to fit in these Tigers, but honestly, the Panzer IVs in the AT tab do a lot more work, which is why I don't have them. Now, the support tab is pretty fun. It's got a lot of great options in it. Uh, we're, we're going, of course, with the Flammenwerfers. We have a card of MG42s, the Commander. You have this unique unit in the Sturm Tiger. This thing is really super fun to use, really micro-intensive, and just a blast to blow things up with, literally and figuratively. It is a the one of the biggest boom booms in the game. I think it is the biggest boom weapon like that you can drive around. Uh, the only thing that other than this that has 380 millimeters of booming is basically off map artillery. I don't think there's anything else that's even close. It, it's it's cool. I mean, it will basically delete anything except for the heaviest of tanks. It it will delete medium tanks pretty much. I mean, it is cool, but you have to actually tell it to shoot, and it takes an actual like minute for it to reload. It it's very long, but. If you can micro it well, this thing can really be a thorn in someone's side. Because it's got super thick armor too. Like, no normal AT weapon is, is penetrating this front armor. So if you can use it right, super duper strong. You do have options with the Panzer III and the Grill. These are also great options you could definitely take. I wouldn't take this thing, although it doesn't look terrible. In the right, in a different division, I'd probably use this thing, to be honest with you. I, I really honestly would. Most likely, but it's really not good here. Just a 15-point tank is a 15-point tank. And this is, this is not actually a bad gun for 15 points. I mean, it, it it's... I'm actually kind of wondering why I've never even tried it. Probably because it's bad, but still. I mean, yeah, it's an option. I wouldn't use it because it, it, there's so much to shove in. I would take a grill before I would take this or a Panzer III before I'd take this. That's really the reason. There's so many better options in this thing. Hopping over here to its really great AT tab. We have so many good options and just not enough slots to use them all. I have a card of Pack 38s in A, a card of Jagdpanzer IVs, which are super, super good, especially against allied armor. There's very few allied tanks that can actually penetrate this outside of your heavier, like, T-34-85s. So this guy really can just kind of be a brick wall 
to a lot of divisions and you'll see it in the game the, my opponent just can't kill this thing so i take a card in a and a card in b i do vet them once because i you don't need what it would be nine of them if you're using nine of these you're probably not winning anyway if i'm being honest so the one vet really does help they do need a little help in their accuracy department and the extra fire speed really helps a lot calling in a card of panda tracks in b and the card of pack 40s in b as well you have you could have four cards of panzer fours i mean you could panzer uh Jag panzer fours which could be super obnoxious you could have four cards of panzer of uh, pack 40s it's just a lot a lot of good options here it really is anti-air so you get three cards of flak 488 flak 41s which is really strong i mean you get as many as you want basically i am calling in a card of 20 mils with the you know car so you basically are doubling up your 20 mil call in here putting them at one vet because eight 20 mils should be plenty you know for any game you could call in the sdkf z of in one i have expressed why i don't take this because it dies to basically all artillery so if you are not constantly on top of your micro this will die and i just don't find them to be more effective than this these will actually stop your troops from getting bombed this will occasionally shoot something down if it flies over top of it but otherwise it's 120 points that just doesn't do it for me 120 points gets you this thing which can basically stop most planes from actually landing their bombs and it also can kill tanks and stuff as well so that's why i, I vote for this over the sdk of z71 this is an unnecessary number of aa slots by the way you really should not be filling this up that'd be a little nuts great artillery options here like it really has a lot of options you just don't get a lot of slots it, which is really disappointing you i really feel like you got to take the 81 mil mortar when you have the option it's really really strong um another thing i would consider is the sk18 105 this thing's very accurate great for counter battering just a really good artillery piece you can bring it in with the musician truck there's just really not space for it i like to bring the battery fear i guess you could not and that would be perfectly reasonable but you really wouldn't have many leaders and then i'm calling in the 150 mil artillery uh you have this 600 millimeter off map i mean if you really want to be if you really want all the big booms you can take this like i've said i'm not a big off map guy especially off plane off map i am not a fan of which is why i'm not taking this you can also take only take it in b and c i mean this will kill stuff <laughs> it really will make things go disappear and now the great weakness of this deck it's got some great options in this tab in this in the air force you just can't fit them so you, your only fighter option is the me 410b1 which is pretty bad it's fast i'll give it that it, it does catch bombers it can catch bombers and shoot bombers down it's got medium resilience so there are pluses to this this fighter but against other fighters it's absolutely horrendous it cannot turn it, it gets shot down so your only like real fighter option here is the bf109 g6 you have to bring it in double vet if you bring it in a you only get two which is very few especially a bad resilience fighter so i'm bringing in b which is why i have the four tens and a i mean i'd love to take the gau 87 d5 this is one of the best cluster planes in the game i just didn't really have the room for it at that many points the ju87 g2 is very useful as well this can also pin tanks quite well bf109 g6 r2 is a is a solid bomber it's really actually quite good even based off its stats even the bf109 g6 you know br21 with the rockets this is not terrible i wouldn't take this over the other options but you know this is not terrible either but you just it's really expensive and you you gotta have some fighters because like i said the flak 41s aren't going to shoot planes down they're just going to keep them off and if the opponent really starts to already these things and overwhelm your aa you could be in a lot of trouble so really fun division um the game goes really quite well i play i play against a maverick player and it goes quite well i i like this division it, it definitely has some weaknesses it's expensive i would say the biggest issue with this deck is everything's expensive you don't have very much in the department of like super cheap stuff so you definitely have to be very careful and you have to be very definite with your choices of what you bring in because you don't have a lot of flexibility to like be spamming troops and things like that and that's why i don't think this division's really on top right now is it really can't spam super well it doesn't have like just tons of cheap crap to throw out it all its stuff is higher quality which means you have to get a lot of value out of it and you can't do that you're gonna lose so yeah that is full Panzer Herman going if you enjoyed this content please hit that like button and subscribe and have a fantastic day